Here at Scale War Machines, we love our kits. And we love World War II military hardware. So we thought we'd show you just how far the hobby has come in recent years by reviewing the sort of state-of-the-art kits on the market today and comparing one with the real thing. And here it is, the M2 A1 half-track from Dragon. And here is a life-size vehicle, a pristine M2 A1. We'll be taking a walk around the half-track later, but first off, let's take a quick peek at the kit. The model boasts all the features you'd expect from a 21st century kit. Heaps of extras and detail parts, and impeccable moulding thanks to computer-aided design. All the details are nicely rendered. There's options too with parts for an early or late M2A1. The one area that caught manufacturers out in the past was the suspension. But Dragon has cleverly got around this by moulding the track in halves. And the idler wheels are also very well cast and finely detailed. There's even weighted wheels with bulges, though some have questioned this. So you may want to replace them with normal ones. Otherwise, it promises to be a fine replica of the real thing. So let's take a quick look at the full-size machine. Our guide is owner Ian Bottomley. The vehicle's a uh, white half-track M2A1. Uh, rubber tracks as they were from day one. It's 1941. Um, looking on the vehicle here, you can see that it's rigged with a crane. This is a uh, addition by myself. We can't find any photographs, but we know that things like this existed. The crew at the moment are doing a gearbox change on one of our uh, colleagues' vehicles. Water cans each side were carried, not fuel, otherwise they'd be flammable when they were hit. The whole vehicle, as you can see, is made out of quarter-inch armour plate on it. These were ammunition lockers. These fold down, used by me as a tool locker. These here are mine racks to carry mines. Not as many on, as on uh, later vehicles, which went the whole length. This was a short version. And when it came to storing all the soldiers' gear... So what they had on the back were these back racks. These fold down like this. to carry more equipment for troops that were inside. As you can see, musette bags hung on the outside so that the soldiers had space inside for weapons. If, like us, you can't wait to replicate this fine-looking vehicle in miniature, the Dragon Kit is a great starting point. Consigning older half-track kits to the spares bin. The only drawbacks we could find with a lack of screw head detail. And no late war stowage racks at the rear. Plus, there's the debatable choice of weighted wheels. These were seldom seen on real vehicles. But other than that, we were so impressed, we'll be building it as soon as possible as a premium download. So keep your eyes peeled for its release. Until the next time, goodbye.